Hey everyone, it's Rogue Rage from Final Turn here wishing everyone a Merry Christmas all to all our viewers and subscribers out there. Um, today we are doing a Christmas unboxing of the gifts that I got for Christmas. <coughs> Excuse me. So I got two of the new Gear Chronicle Trial decks and one of these starter sets from Japan courtesy of um, Groove Distribution. Check those guys out, they're pretty awesome. And no, I didn't get any, uh, any sort of sponsorship to... Uh, say that but yeah so let's get this open and see what's inside although most of you guys probably know what's inside you get this snazzy box it's actually pretty nice it's something i've this is the first japanese product i've ever gotten so that's why i was pretty excited to open it so yeah i'm gonna show you guys the cards just so you can see them but i'm gonna go over them more in depth when i open up the trial decks so first you get uh, your playmat, which something that Japan does, which I really like. The playmat is the playmat. And you get promo packs, which I think is something that needs to desperately be done with the American game, of useful cards. Like I know Pale Moon got purple trapezes in there, I believe, and they got one of the uh, nightmare dolls, so that's pretty awesome. So the first promo you get is Wasage Dragon. He's the stride that on hit rewind, and with the awesome stride background card, uh, stride background, great. I'm going to keep these obviously just to probably keep them in my deck boxes just to look nice, and then you get Steam Breath Dragon, the stride fodder, and Heart Thump Worker, the Don't Wear Critical Trainer. This is a really good reprint. Um, the stage could definitely use something like that, because that's sitting under about, like almost 15 now. So then you get... Some nice chrono sleeves. Uh, I'll be resleeving my Gear Chronicle deck from the old chrono sleeves to these. You get this snazzy deck box. Um, deck will obviously be going in here. You got Metallic Phoenix, Chrono Jet, Chrono Jet. Yeah, they're really nice boxes. So far, I'm impressed with the quality of the Japanese product. And then you've got your cards. Let's see if we can get a quick look at them. So you got your two Chrono Jets, two Metallica Phoenixes. Um, don't know what this guy's called. These are your second grade three. Um, and then your third grade three. I like how um something that's really nice is that they made. No more 10Ks, because 10Ks suck in terms of your grade 3s. So it's an 11K with the same skill. And then you get your 10K, your two, this guy, cool foiling. Like I said, I'll go over these cards when I open them up in English. See if we get the sign card. Perfect cards. Chrono Dragon is adorable. And you get the I guess it's a clan card, is that that's what they're calling them now. It's just got them. Um, it's got you know the keynote card for the clan and the name of the clan. You get the counter, and congratulations, I don't really know what this means. I know it's some for some point system, but I don't know if I got anything. So, on to the trial decks. See if I pull that full, full, uh, signed Chrono Jet, which is actually the first time I hope I don't pull a sign, because that thing is ugly. It's got like the worst font I've ever seen on a signed. So this comes with tape. More tape. More tape. Comes with your starter guide and your playmat. Oh, and this one has a full shrink wrap. A little tab. It does. 
which I cannot get all the way through. I'm gonna go a little bit in depth in these cards, and uh, uh, and then the second one, I'll just see if I get the signs. So this is Chronogen Dragon. It's just a reprint. Um, while I do love this artwork, I do wish that they would have given Gear Chronicle perhaps a second boss. You know, so there's Chronogen it doesn't have to be you know one of the main four cards you have to run. But I do love the card. So hey, and <laughs> I got the signed. Um. Bittersweet, first time I've pulled, but it's ugly. But best believe it'll be in my deck. Thanks. <laughs> so, oh, for those of you that don't know, Chrono Jet's uh, skill, which you should, but if you don't, GB2, he attacks a Vanguard, and when he gets plus 5,000, and he gets the glory skill. So he can't call grade ones or greater to the Guardian Circle. And he's also the Stride Break. So you kind of boss one when he's shredded on, you rewind a unit. All around great card for these Clinton. Get two Metallica Phoenix. Um, this is a new new stride that comes with the deck. Um, a lot more functional than Mystery Flare was when we got the first Gear Chronicle deck. So it's nice to see that they got rid of just the gimmicky things for the trial decks and made them a lot more functional. It seems. Um, his skill is choose a face on card from your G zone and turn it face up, so he gets G Persona. Um, when he attacks a Vanguard, if you have a card with Chrono Jet in its card name. A heart, sorry. You may pay the cost. If you do, choose up to one of your rear guards and time leap it. And for those of you that don't know, time leap is the new mechanic that Gear Chronicle is running on. And it is you bind it, you choose a unit, you bind it, and you call a grade one, you call a grade, you call a card one grade higher from your deck and shuffle your deck. And at the end of the turn, put the called card on the bottom of your deck and call the bound card. So, you know, it's just nice to get those extra attacks. It's really worth it. But just the things. Oh, classic Gun Dragon, that was his name. So you still get four of these. His skill is um, GB1 when he is placed on rear guard or vanguard. Choose up to one of your units, and until the end of the turn, it gets time leap. So, yeah. I'm not going to keep reading what time leap is. You get two of these 11k plus 3k when you um, counterblast one. So it becomes a 14k attacker. Um, like I said, I do like the fact that they made these 11ks instead of 10ks from now on. Hopefully that's something they continue. But there's a catch that is GB1, so you could be sitting there. Well, you shouldn't really be. You should be sitting at him with 10k. You get four 10k attackers. Um, yeah, nothing much to say to that. Uh, Steam, Steam Fighter Zimidar. Uh, I like him better than Smoke Gear. You know, takes away from the uh, dragons, which is nice. Bushroot has too much of a hard on for dragons. Then you get Steam Made of Mariana, you get two of these. GB1, when it's placed on rear guard, it gets plus 4,000. So that's, you know, four, when you use her to uh, get time leap and stuff. Time leap? Time leap? Yeah, I'll go with time leap. And she becomes a 13k. So she's one of those cards you want to keep calling back out. Then you get two History Maker Dragon, you get one foil and one non foil. GB1, um, he gets time leap. When it attacks a vanguard, you counterblast one, and if you do, you choose up to one of your the rear guard and time leap it. Then you get two gear goat loitering in ruins. Uh, great artwork, stupid name, and it, when it intercepts, it gets plus 10k at GB1. Um, it's kind of wasted because, you know, people don't really run these. Um, And you get four 8Ks. Cooler than Major Gear. Um, it looks almost like a Gramble unit. Steam Battler Ulgear. Then you get four Steam Made in Danish. GB1 when it's placed on rear guard. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards. Your opponent returns that unit to his or her deck. Searches his or her deck for up to one card with grade minus one of that unit and calls it to rear guard. So they can also choose not to search out a unit. Um, interesting. They're keeping some of the rewind, which is kind of nice, but that ability to uh, call another unit kind of sucks because if they have good grade ones or grade twos or anything, grade zeros, it ends up biting you in the ass sometimes. Then you get three 
Spine Break Dragon, GB1. When this unit is placed on rear guard from hand, choose up to one of the rear guards and time leave it. You get two perfect guards. Steam Maiden Senilar. Um, just, you know, normal perfect guard. I really hope the Gear Carnival gets either a reprint of Arlem or gets another PGG. Okay, so you get two Gear Pony Aware of Twilight. <laughs> Stupidest name, terrible artwork. Um, GB1, when it's boost, it gets, boosted unit gets plus 3,000. It becomes a 9k booster. Then you get the best starter for Gear Chronicle right now. Um, Chrono Dran, he's adorable. It's 4Runner and GB1, you put him into the solo when it's placed in your bind zone from rear guard. So when he's used to, as the cost for time leap, um, if you, you do search your deck for up to one grade 3 or greater card with Chrono Dran. It's card name, call it to rear guard, shuffle your deck. At the end of that turn, return this unit called the effect to your hand. So get you stride fodder, gets you, gets you nice stuff. You get four Steam Scara Conlanma, just a regular crit trigger. Four Steam Scar Udul. Basic trick. Uh, draw trigger. Two one two punch Draco kids. Wish he was in the stand. He has great artwork. For these heal, um, I'll probably run them. Scintillating Worker. Two of these. Um, Gear Cat Meshing Cogs. Put this unit into your soul, choose up to one of your units, and it gets plus 3,000. Still won't run stands. You get another one of these cards. The Clan Card. Alright, so let's just see if I pull another sign. It's gonna be a Christmas miracle, guys. I do pull another sign that will no longer ever buy any trial decks from anywhere other than Groove Distribution. Alright, so uh, we got one, so can't get too greedy. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this unboxing, um, please like, comment, subscribe, leave some, leave anything below that you'd like. And yeah, Merry Christmas, guys. And that, this was my unboxing. Bye, guys.